Hello BJD Addicts! This is prompt number five. It is all about workspaces. Since today is about workplaces, I decided that I wanted to vlog here in my workplace. First off, I'm going to give you a quick little tour of my studio where I do all of my artistic things. This is my desk. This is where I do everything and anything that is artistic. There's my Lala Loopsy collection or part of it there. And there's a few more up there. I also collect fairies. There's fairies all hanging up on the ceiling. This piece right here I did myself. It's based on a virgin tiger moth. That's what their wings are based off of. Here, this is my paint easel. Well, it's not mine. I actually borrowed it from my friend Steven. Here are my corpse bride dolls. This is my china cabinet full of my collections and stuffs. We have Snow White. We have the Mad Hatter. We have the complete Barbie Wizard of Oz collection. There's Glinda in the background. Hey, Glinda and the witches. Dorothy and her friends. And we also have this bonnet, which is the woman in black replica that I made. This was a project that I did in college. And this is my stuffies collection. I used to work at Build-A-Bear, so there's quite a few Build-A-Bear stuffies in here. To remove old face-ups, the magic eraser, this one's pretty gross and dirty because it just went through a face-up removal. I use nail polish remover, which might come as a surprise for some of you. Nail polish remover is actually quite safe on BJD resin. It hasn't caused any residue to build up, it hasn't caused any marks to show up, it hasn't caused anything. I also have cotton swabs and cotton balls and Q-tips. If nail polish remover and magic eraser don't work, I go to nail file. I know that's terrifying, but it's only if I absolutely have to, have to, have to, if there's a, something that just will not come off. And for applying face-ups, I have, of course, the classic pastel. I use a knife to shave it down first. The bigger pile you make, the more concentrated it's going to be. I also use Prismacolor pencils. The reason I use Prismacolor pencils instead of, say, watercolor pencils, these actually show up so much more. And actually, I find they remove better than watercolor pencils. And some art pen. My paint brushes. Paper towel. I actually can't find gloss anywhere, so I just use clear nail polish, which is actually fine, especially if this is fine. I also like to sew my BJD's clothes. Of course, the first thing you have to do is make a design. So what I use for that is I use design vellum, which is actually tracing paper. It's quite thick, actually, but you can still see right through it, and it's excellent. I love this stuff. I use it for costuming. I use it for designing regular clothes and I use it for designing doll clothes. This is a drafting reference book. It is fantastic. It is by Winifred Aldrich and it is called Metric Pattern Cutting for Women's Wear. I use it not only for regular size clothes, obviously that's what it's meant for. I also use it for making doll clothes and what I do there is I just put it to the half scale or the quarter scale. Anyone that's in costuming or sewing will understand what that means but anyone that's not this is total gibberish. But if you like to make clothes and you don't know where to get a doll pattern making book use this one. It is really easy to read. There's my drafting ruler which I thought I lost like five times and there's my Faf sewing machine. I only use Faf. Faf is the only sewing machine that's legitimate anymore. Everything else seems just like a plastic play thing. And it has a lifespan of 40 years. I got it two years ago, so it has quite a lot more life to live. And under here, these bins are full of fabric. Now there's my sewing box with my sewing scissors on top. Here's a portable DVD player, which is absolutely imperative for me. Ironing board. Another tip for anyone that wants to sew doll clothes, a sign of an amateur is lack of ironing. I keep the main supply of my notions in here. All sorts of ribbons. There's 
zippers in here, buttons and lace. That's my workspace. That's where I deal with my dolls. That's where I sew clothes for my dolls. This is where I do artwork, not necessarily for my dolls, but this is where I do anything creative or artistic. I hope you enjoyed this little visit to my workplace. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.